Okay, we're back at it. We're gonna run over and we're gonna see if we can get an extra uh, repair powder from the mayor immediately after using one. Cause uh, if you remember, the <laughs> Raven is dead. So yeah, I think this works. Though I forget. Um, also, items start to appear in his in, in around the town. I should say if there was a town. <laughs> But in his house, anyway. Um, the deeper you go into the dungeon. So why don't we use this? And we'll use the water. But I am not... Yeah, yeah, he did give us more. Okay, cool. But I'm not gonna look until I get to around 5. That's when they start to accumulate, really. And I like to just kind of root around and get, like, <laughs> a fistful of items from around the town. Okay, so uh, we managed to get through that first stone level and I think that's kind of how we're gonna do it. If we have to cheese it, we'll cheese it um, until we get our first actual weapon and then hopefully... Oh, here we go. <clears throat> when there's no Adla on a level, that means some stuff's gonna happen, so I'm ready to read. Slight uh, technical glitch there. Exclamation mark! Hey, hey, hey! Now you die. I don't think so. I just repaired my weapon. Oh. And last one. And I'm sure nothing bad will happen after this moment. Uh-oh, I was wrong. Inky, he's a tough one, Inky. You will have to duel him. A duel is a special form of combat. Controller button markers will move from right to left. Uh, press the button when they line up. You got it. I will endeavor to, because my controller says X-A-B-Y. It does not <laughs> say PlayStation. Apparently you can get custom buttons for these things. We'd have to look into that, because I would really like it to have actual PlayStation buttons. But I do like the colors. Ah, uh, okay, so... Yeah. It's a it's a quick time event. Before they were called quick term events. Here it begins! Stay focused! I'm focusing. This is me focusing. Ah, easy. Phew. They get harder. They get a lot harder. Alright, what we got? What's we got? Ah, Undead Buster. That's one of those things you can stick on your weapon. And a gate key. Well, not very awesome, but thanks for the quick time event. I'm sure I'll never see one of those again, and they won't be difficult or keep <laughs> happening. <laughs> or anything like that I need to worry about. Uh, so last episode we were at 20 minutes, so we're shaving it down by 10 minutes each. Let's see if we can get through two dungeons in 15 minutes this time. Hopefully we won't have another crisis with our stupid dagger breaking. Oh, he's back. We have to learn so much at the beginning of a game. How's it going? Dude, I just, I just saw you. <laughs> Got the hang of it yet? The floors behind this, beneath this one are even tougher. Now, to advance course to give you a fair chance against the meaner enemies down below. Are you using your charge attack when fighting enemies? No, I never use it. Never. Hold the O button down. Yep. Let's talk more about weapons. So, how are your weapons growing? They're not. I only have a dagger. It sucks. <laughs> If you don't start upgrading them now, you'll get into trouble later! Can I have a weapon? Before you upgrade, it is a good idea to keep attachments on. If you upgrade with them on, then the weapon can absorb the power of the attachment to add to its own power. But there is a power limit for each weapon. There's no need to upgrade its ability beyond this limit, because you can't. That's what a limit is. When weapons reach level 5 or greater, they can status break. 
A status break is breaking down a weapon into a synth sphere that contains the power of that weapon. If you install this onto other weapons as an attachment, you can add the old weapon's attribute to the new weapon. The attributes in the synth sphere will add to the new weapon's attributes permanently when the sphere is absorbed. However, the attributes received may be less than that of weapon before being made into a synth sphere. If the new weapon's limit is higher, then you can make a more powerful weapon. Pretty cool, huh? That's it for today's lecture. Take care of yourself. I will always be watching you. I peace. Blank, empty, fried noodle stare. <laughs> oh boy. Phew! Alright, so last episode, I praised why you need to get one of these amazing devices. And you seriously do. You really do. <laughs> Change your existence. So, get one now. Ah, oh, there's still stone things here. We're gonna ignore the stone ones. And hopefully there isn't, like, an essential item on any of them. I'm hoping it's gonna happen sooner or later, but premium water. <laughs> but hopefully not anytime soon. Okay, what's over here? A Yamach. We can deal with that. Easy. So, what else is new with me? Um, you know, the last couple, the last couple years, really, I've been just working through like a lot of personal anxiety, and stress, and drama, and just so much going on. And, ah, man, and that, we had so much work to- No! Why? Ah, do not hit me, dude. So annoying. Ugh. Yeah, but it's not been a fun time. Inky has not been having a real fun time here. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna heal that item. Why did I put that over there? Get out of there. Ugh. Yeah, and... So, I had, like, so much work to do, and just things piling on. All these things that I've had to do. Even stuff that had been piling on since I was, like, a kid, you know? Like, I live in this kind of rundown house, and it just needs all this work, and... So there's never, like, time for me to do anything or to be anything other than, okay, I go to my full-time job, and... And even last year, I had two full-time jobs. So I was like, okay, go to my job. And then when I'm done, I go to my job. <laughs> and then when I'm done with that, then, oh, it's time to work on the house. So it's time to fix things. So it's time to insulate or whatever needs to be done. And yeah, and that's it. So there's never time for me, never time for my hobbies. And just, oh, man. And it just made my mental health worse. I think I don't have great mental health anyway. Like, I have a lot of anxiety and stuff. Which I know everybody everybody says they have anxiety. Whatever. <laughs> don't be mad at me. I don't care. But, yeah, man. I've been dealing with, like, a lot of, like, paranoia and, and anxiety and really not great stuff. I, mean, I think about even, like, going to see somebody about it. Which I might still. But, man. We got so much done. Yesterday I worked... Le yesterday. Last year I worked two jobs. We called a dumpster and we cleaned out the whole yard of all this just like scrap and junk that's just been piling up from doing all these different things and just even just because it's an old piece of property. Ugh. And oh man, we just overhauled a bunch of things that were like major crises that have been just weighing down on us for like decades. We just finally got them done. Tackled, sorted no longer an issue <laughs> and now we're looking at like just the last couple things we needed to do and the place will be like a normal house you know and now we're like looking out at this summer like what do we even have to do and it's like we have to like enjoy ourselves <laughs> For real, this summer, this year, it won't be like, oh, we have to go from this task to that task to fix this to fix that. It's like, there's a couple of things we gotta do, and they're gonna be kind of fun. <laughs> or we can do some things in, in the yard for once, and it's not like repairing the yard or anything like that. It's like, I don't know, you wanna put up some, some box, some, uh, 
um, grow boxes? Earth what do you call it? Raised beds? Raised beds. I want to do raised garden beds this year. And it's it's a reasonable conversation to have. We can actually have raised beds and start growing plants and God, just enjoying ourselves. And it's it's a not can you believe that it's a novel concept to be like oh yeah you can you can enjoy your summer. Whoa, <laughs> what do you mean? Where's all the work I have to do? But it's like it's changing. For once, it's changing. Okay, I'm gonna open this because this is usually a good thing. Ah ha ha. Okay. So when you see one of these, ah, you don't have a treasure chest. Even if you have a treasure chest, you should guess the trap. So, uh, guess that it's poison. Run away. Phew. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> so that deactivated. Uh, if you if you guess that it's poison and it is poison, you won't be poisoned. If you guess something else and it is poison, now you have to deal with using up an item. Whereas if it's cursed, cursed just means you can't um, switch your weapon. Which in most cases, you're not going to switch your weapon. You're trying to train a weapon. And then if it's explosion, that's the ideal situation. Because all you have to do is basically press the button down. Press down. And your character will automatically run away just fast enough to not get caught in the explosion. But just hold the down button and then press poison. Okay, let's see what we got. Should be a weapon. Uh, I guess in the trap. It was an explosion. Wow, I must be psychic. What did we get? Uh, alright. That's, that's acceptable. It's not really what I want, but I'll take it. Um... I'm gonna keep wearing down this thing, and then we'll pull out the the, the base lard, the base lard sword, <laughs> um, to kind of finish this level up. Um, otherwise, I think I'm gonna keep ignoring the stone monsters unless I have to, pretty much. Okay, these things are cool. They're always random. What happens? I'm pumped with energy. That works. Don't really need it, but sure. Cool, I'll take that. That's another attribute item. Uh, so yeah, it's it's weird. Yeah, so like... My mental health was getting really, really bad. But... Like... It's not even really kind of hit me how many things have changed over the years. Over the year, excuse me. That's what I mean. It's not over the years. It's literally like... Last year, everything changed. Everything changed. And, and now, I don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> it's really incomprehensible what's going, what, what happened, what we did. Everything changed in one year. It's nuts. And now, I can actually enjoy my summer, I think, so far. It seems like things are going good. Oh my gosh. And I don't, I don't even know what to do with myself, with, with this realization. Ugh. But, as weird as it is, it's kind of games that are making me realize that. Because all of a sudden, I have time to play games. I have time to do something that I've always cared about, but I had to just, like, let go. Because it was like, oh, this baby thing, and now you have to go not exist. Because that's adulting. It's not enjoying life, apparently. But I finally got things in order enough to where there is room for me. And it's just kind of wild. I don't know. I, I don't know if any of that makes sense, but... I don't know. If I, somebody else is having a hard time, maybe it makes them a little happier to realize that... Yeah, I mean... You may not get everything in, that you want in life, but... You know... If you grind a bit here and there... You get what you need, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. And I needed to play video games. So... Yeah... <laughs> Okay, we still haven't found the gate key. I switched over to, the, to my other weapon here. Hopefully, uh, we can get it pretty quickly. I don't really care about fighting all the monsters at this point. Um, because it's just a lot of walking back and forth. Um, but later on, you get an item called Dran's Feather, which lets you basically run at all times. And uh, this is the only dungeon where you don't have access to the Dran's Feather for most of it. Uh, 
So, nope, no key yet. So yeah, I just want to kind of cut through this dungeon as fast as possible, and then everything... At least it feels like it moves faster. There we go. I need... I need bread. Give me bread. Wow. -oo. Okay, so... There we go, we made it through another dungeon. Wow, so it takes about... Another level, rather. It takes about 15 minutes to get through a level. So that's interesting. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, life is getting better. I'm actually looking forward to the summer, and... I don't think I'm really fully aware of all the things that I did to make it so this year will not be so hellacious. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm getting better, and things are getting better. And I'm playing video games on a handheld console, and it's insane. Anyway, thank you as always for watching. I hope you're enjoying <laughs> going through Dark Cloud with me. Again, one of my all-time favorite games. I'm a big fan of dungeon crawlers. Looks like we actually made it out in less than 30 minutes, so <laughs> let's keep going at this pace. I'm feeling pretty good about this pace. Anyway, like and subscribe if you would, please and thank you. And yeah, have a really good week, my friend. Good night.